Liberty at 349 in pace and Virginia at 336. It's going to come down to Kerry Blackshear Jr. getting some extra possession for the Hope. More game high, 20 points in the win over St. Louis. He's sitting out for 20 or more in three of his last four. Here he comes again, knifing through the defense. Four games as a freshman. That's only finished with about 10 points per game. Here's Kyle. Blake clock down to six. Off the dribble. And finally gets the Flames their first points. Didn't put up huge numbers, but his presence just changes everything for the Hokies. Good looking shot, Darius McGee, the freshman. He is a small guy, Lynn, but at 5'9", he has a 48-inch vertical. Quick answer by Virginia Tech. Because on the other end, they know they've got the capability of making stops. There is Gomes, that's a three, with a two-point lead. I think this is Liberty's kind of game. They just got to avoid the mistakes. Baseball pass. And Justin Robinson with the easy finish. A preseason game back in November with the Hokies winning 86 to 70. That's outlaw misfiring inside. Blackshear's put back no. Again. Three chances, making four. Blackshear again. And he's headed to the free throw line. And his stats. <laughs> Way to go get it, Liam. But Kerry Blackshear Jr. all over the offensive glass. Foul early in the game is back on the floor. Here's Cabell. Shot clock down to three. He's got to hurry. He splits two. Beautifully done. You've got to have some guys that can create their own shot. It was two months that he missed with the foot injury that's affecting him. He said his whole body is sore. On his off day, they did a game ready and ice on that foot. He told me he feels ready to go today. Any kind of momentum against him would throw even more fouls. Here's a three by Holmesley. That was a familiar sight on Friday night. Past the midway point of the second half against Mississippi State before they turned it up and came back. Blackshear has really been bothered underneath a lot of contact, and he's headed to the line again. Here to be an obvious discomfort. Oh boy. He got hit inadvertently by one point Liberty lead, the champions from the A Sun Conference. Ooh. That is McGee. Didn't play bad, but didn't have that confident look. Today in warm-ups, he looks like he's ready. Speedy from deep gets the friendly bounce. A prolific shooter from that position. Flames have hit four their last five. McGee looking for more. And the freshman has come to play. Make it three threes for the North Carolina kid. But the thing about it is they know how to play without him. They beat Mississippi State with little input from Scotty James, and that's a reason why. This is a good matchup right here. Great kick out. Holmesley in traffic. Eight-point lead. You got to give Liberty a great deal of credit for the way they've been D'ing up here. There's Beatty on a drive. Blackshear, another offensive rebound, and he's fouled. Virginia Tech. Trying to advance past the second round for the first time it's since 1967. It's only happened once in their program history. They've done that in the last three or four possessions. Elijah Coffey on a three. Flames starting to settle for some threes here. Blackshear. A little bit of contact. No whistle. Make it eight straight points. What a first half. Blackshear's putting together nine points, seven rebounds. That basket counts. Champions in the ace zone, their first year in the conference. Alexander Walker denied by Cuffey. Led Holmesley, who has a lot of ability to get to the lane off the dribble. Holmesley into the corner. That's a three. It's Keenan Gums. He's off 10 seconds. Robinson. Liberty out of bounds. Open look from Hill. Bullseye. Fifth place finisher in the ACC, their best finish in almost a decade. Look at Blackshear. How hard has he worked tonight and where? He averages nine rebounds a game. Maybe not against the same type of competition, but he's got to be there. Petey, right to the cup. First lead for the Hokies. Number one scorer, best rebounder, but just has not had it so far. Really struggled the other night. As Virginia Tech with 10 straight points. Hill, a fifth-year senior. How about this start for the Hokies? And there the answer. Lavelle Cavill Jr. a chance at a three-point play. Kerry Blackshear making sure he, he didn't get the rebound. And there's a nice play by Lavelle. 
being able to knife in and a good pass by Baxter Benton. Stubbs of the uh, Washington Post had a great piece on that. Richard McKay with that heated exchange with the head coach of New Mexico. His outlaw hits a three. Uh, they would be sharing this stage with a potential Sweet 16 trip hanging in the balance. Blackshear taking contact again. He's already dug in point blank range. This is Cuffey on a three. He buries it. That's what he likes to do. That was third best in the ace on this season. Outlaw back to back threes for Virginia Tech. Six ties, eight lead changes. We're just under seven minutes gone by. What a pass inside Blackshear, wide open. Here comes Alexander Walker behind the back for everything but the finish. Offensive rebound and then James denying Hill. Here on Friday night, ASUN champions. The kick out pass into the hands of Alexander Walker. Hill left open, pump fakes. Knocks down another three. Been playing against big men from the SEC as well as the ACC, and they're obviously a higher caliber of bigs than he might. Williams has been in the tournament that run with Marquette back in 2013. Here's McGee from deep. Got it! His fifth three of the night. Every single night. Trying to get his game going finally. Robinson on oh, the sleight of hand, changes direction. What a big basket that is. Exploring the defense. When they had success in the first half, they were forcing the defense to play it. Alexander Walker. How bad the Liberty Flames have played on the offensive end. They're still just down. Well, now eight now. Off the inbounds play. It's a mid hill. Keep in mind, Liberty overcame that seven point deficit against Mississippi State. Actually down 10 with seven minutes left. Pacheco Ortiz. You're not in a hurry. We hit the two minute mark. Robinson, that's good. Pressure seconds coming off the clock. Blackshear so good in the high post. Alexander Walker, right back to Blackshear. What court vision by the sophomore. Only 36 seconds left. Yes, love to see him drive it. Holmesley, strong move to the cup. As the final seconds come off the clock. As the Hokies dance will continue.